Every once in a while, a new boot releases that just speaks to you. You see the pictures and you know at some point or another you were going to own that boot. For me, the last time that happened was right before the holiday season, and it was for these Truman Boot Company British Tan Grizzly plain toe boots on the 79 last. Just something about the tan caramel color, that's how they describe it in the description, and the, the thick leather, just the overall silhouette uh, of this boot, and all Truman Boot silhouettes are, are beautiful, I think. So, but yeah, this one particularly just spoke to me and I knew that I had to have it. So I was able to wait through the holiday season. I tried to see if there'd be any Black Friday sales or anything like that. Turns out there were not, which wasn't expected, uh, but I figured I'd wait anyways, but I bought them soon after. So I've had, had these in for six or seven weeks, only been wearing them in earnest for the last three weeks or so. So I have seven or eight wears on them, something like that. Just enough to give me a fully formed opinion on how the boot feels uh, and how it's constructed and you know, give me enough info to bring you this first look video. Now, of course, this isn't my first Truman boot. I do have another plain toe boot on the 79 last. It's the Ship's Biscuit Waxy Kudu boots that I bought almost a year ago. And so I already knew I liked the last. And so I knew these would probably be a home run. So if you are interested to see more about these, this is going to be the Rocky Mountain style first look at the Truman Boot Company British Tan Grizzly boot on the plain toe with the 79 last. I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. Okay, let's start going over the boots here. So a couple things I wanted to call out right at the front. So you'll see here, there's a dark line here and there's a slightly less dark line right down there, right on the top of the toe box. So both of these were present uh, when I unboxed the boots and I struggled with myself internally uh, for quite a while. I had to take the counsel of some, uh, some buddies that I trust in the boot world. Uh, so shout out, you probably know who you are. Uh, to see if I thought that's something that I should send the boots back on. Now, I know a lot of you probably would, and that's totally fine. At the end of the day, I decided to go ahead and keep them. Um, you know, basically expecting as the boots darken with age that they would probably go away. And also, when you're looking right up at them, yeah, they're, they're really easy to see. But the further away you get, um, you know, when you're looking down from, you know, whatever height you are, they are a lot harder to see. So it's, it's really not that big of a deal. And, you know... I just, at the end of the day, the boots are going to get beat up. I want them to patina. So I, I just don't feel like going through the trouble anymore of returning boots for slight blemishes. Uh, so yeah. So with that out of the way, let's talk about these. So British Tan Grizzly from Sidel Tannery. This is something that Truman worked on with Sidel to bring to bear. And uh, according to the description on the website, this used to be a watch strap. Uh, leather, which if I could find any, I just thought about it. If I could find one, I'd probably buy one to, to do some matching. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think it would look cool, you know, look cool on watches. So, of course, this has the Commando sole. My only other pair of Trumans has the Eugene sole and more specifically the Eugene Regrind sole. So, this is my first experience with the Commando sole. And I will say, Commando sole on the 79 last for me is significantly more comfortable than the Eugene, la uh, Eugene sole on the 79 last. I don't know why that is. Maybe just a little bit of extra, you know, rubber gives a little bit of extra cushioning, but uh, these are more comfortable um, while walking. While standing, they, they feel exactly the same, but while walking, I just feel like these give a little bit more shock resistance. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, the, back to the leather. So they, they made it really thick. As you can see here, it is, well, I guess it's not really can't get it to focus in there. Let's see if, we, there we go. All right, so you can see how thick that leather is, how thick that grain is. And they specifically had Sidel make it as thick as possible while still maintaining the suppleness. And you can see it's, it's really not hard. There really didn't need to be any break in on the uppers. Of course, there's stiffness in the heel. There's stiffness in the structured toe, but these uppers are I don't want to call them buttery soft yet, but they're, they're pretty close. They're getting there. And again, I've only worn these maybe seven or eight times. So you can see, you know, some scratches on the back. That's just for me crossing my feet under a desk. Probably I would guess, uh, just the things that happen. All right, let's pick up the other one and look at it. So this one also, I wanted to mention, not sure if it's going to come through on the video, but there's a very slight discoloration right there in the center. 
yeah, I think you can see it kind of there. So I featured these in a picture on Instagram and Truman actually sent me a DM and said, hey, we don't like how those turned out. If you want to send them back, we'll refinish them. So they didn't say send them back and we'll send you a new pair. They said they'd refinish them. So they have some sort of a process in house, you know, maybe with some polish and some uh, something else that they can, you know, maybe try to smooth those out. But again, back to what I said before, I didn't really care too much. And I said, yeah, you know, I appreciate the offer, but I'm just going to keep them. I'm sure it'll go away with time uh, and it really doesn't bug me. So it's just part of the part of the individuality of this particular boot. I wanted to talk about the laces. So I've got a lot of boots now. For a few guys have uh, subscribed to the channel for a while, you know that. I have a lot of boots now. I've had a lot of experience with a lot of different laces and configurations. For stock laces that come with boots right from the manufacturer, these are my favorite. These leather laces are the only ones I've found that can actually stay tied with, without double knotting. They can actually stay tied for a whole day. Um, they're easy to tie. They seem pretty rough and tumble. They're not too thick. And I like the contrast, the dark and the light. Um, so yeah, these are my favorite laces. I might, I might see if I can pick up a bunch for some other boots and try them out because I do like them that much. Uh, boots 270 degree Goodyear welted, as you can see. So it's a 270 degree storm welt. So when you have something like that, when you don't have the welt stitching on the back, that means that underneath and yeah, there's not gonna be the right light where I'm standing now or sitting now to show you the inside, but that means there'll be nails that go down through the, um, through the insole that nail into the heel stack so that you've still got that strength. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing these. These are now in my official rotation for my long-term review boots. So I'll be doing updates on these, you know, periodically, you know, I wouldn't do an update until three months at the earliest, but probably more like six months in one year and then every year after, you know, plus a bunch of Instagram posts. So again, guys, this is just a quick look, uh, not a huge deep dive. Um, the boots are comfortable. I like them. I think they look great. I think this leather is a winner. I'm glad this is supposed to be part of Truman's core line going forward. Um, I think they hit it out of the park with this. Oh yeah, something else. A lot of Truman's boots have different colored tongue to the upper. This one has matching, which I prefer. I'm okay with uh, different color. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go run and get my other ones real quick. I'm gonna pause the video and you won't even see my running away. Okay, so here you go. You can see, you know, different colored tongue instead of same color on these. These are the uh, Plain Toast 79 Last ship's biscuit waxy kudu boots and this kudu leather is amazing it's so soft but uh, still feels really strong uh, there's gonna be a one year one year update on these coming pretty soon but yeah if you have any questions about these british tan grizzlies let me know uh, if you're just getting into truman boots and you want to try a first pair i'd highly recommend these uh, as your first pair i think you could do a lot worse than these so that's pretty much it thanks everybody have a fantastic day